Okay, hello everyone. I will I will just record a very short video on how to play uh, one b3 uh, with the white pieces. So basically, when you play b3, you will very very often transpose into systems, you know, the Tukertol system with d4, and then you just have a great control on the e5 square, and then you play with bishop d3 and the classical attack attacks on the kick side. Now I want to go bishop d3, but I don't like knight b4, so let's just play. It's a blitz game, so I will have to speed up a little bit. Um, yeah, so he's playing very aggressively. He will play c4, which is which looks correct. I cannot allow c4, otherwise he otherwise he will take way too much space on the uh, you know on the queen side. So let's just play knight d4. If he takes like this, I'm asking myself the question: Can I play this move? Okay, knight g6 looks good. Let's just castle. Because now he cannot play e5 anymore, and if he takes, takes, and then goes e5, then it feels like it's playable. Okay, now I still have a check over here. Let's just play... I just want to provoke my opponent a little bit. You know, it's a blitz game. Let's just play f4, which is not good, because it's like allowing knight g4. But it feels like that after knight g4, queen f3, I'm having probably an interesting position. Then castles, and probably he's still all right. Um, okay, he took. Um, let's just take with the queen, otherwise e5 will be very, very, uh, you know, strong. Okay, and now I will go knight b3. It's, it's a little bit odd, you know, it's not the usual... Uh, type of positions that you will get if you start the game with 1b3 But I find it interesting. There is probably no e5 because of knight f5 e5 takes there is knight takes and I don't really like I don't like it this in the blitz game in the classical I wouldn't play this system at all because it's not my main repertoire um, Okay, let's just play king h1. I want to play e4, but I don't like this diagonal some e5 might actually be very strong at some point so let's just play e4. Uh, I think this was the best move. Um, yeah, I want to open up the position. I think I will sacrifice the, the pawn with e5. Okay, he does it like this. Feels like I can just take. Okay, let's just take. Knight f5. If knight takes f5, I have... We take z5 check in between move, and I'm threatening to take there. And if you go bishop f5, I will take. The king will go. Because queen f7 drops the rook. Oh, my screen is lagging. Okay, and now I can probably take here. I just have to make sure that I'm not losing... No, it doesn't work, there's knight g3. And if I take... Knight d6, knight c5, it looks playable, as long as I don't get mated on f1, it's, it should be okay. Now I'm open exchange, I'm also threatening to win that pawn over here. It feels like this position is winning, but you know, we never know. It, it might actually, you know, it's possible that some, okay, now it won't happen, ever, never ever. Okay, now I'm threatening to take, hopefully it's not wrong. Let's just play bishop g3. I don't want this queen to get in. And I feel like I could start think you know start thinking about moves like knight c5. Um probably threatening to grab that pawn and if he takes takes queen takes I thought about the rook d1. Yeah and now I think I can get some attacks. Queen takes is of course not playable. Okay, let's just play h3, because I would like to play rook d8 without having to suffer from queen a3 and some checkmate threats, and I'm also very low on time. Oh, I, I completely messed up, I just realized that I had knight d5, uh, rook d5. Okay, but it's okay. Now I'm threatening bishop d6. Okay, let's just grab. Wait, I have. Wait, let's just grab here. Even if he takes there, I have rook d3 now. Check, can I get out of here? 
and queen d6. Now my king is defended, and it's start. I'm sorry, it's time for me to start thinking about this king over there. Queen takes, I can take there. It's a blitz game, so I better verify. Ooh, I think ah, uh, it happens. Okay, he had bishop e4. Yeah, this is normal now. I have 20 seconds. It's no longer the opening. I don't have anything to prove. Bishop e4 check. Okay, let's just grab this pawn. Uh, yeah, let's just go rook g5. Even if he defends... Okay, now he dropped the piece. It was an okay game. I think it's a good example of of what should be done or what you should actually be doing when you're playing a b3. Um, it was a very odd game. Yeah, exactly. I blundered bishop e4. That's what I thought. Yeah, and here I realized probably it's okay because I can still take take and this. Uh, the engine says rook e4, queen c7. Ooh, okay. This is a very nice maneuver that I just didn't see because it's this game. Uh, the engine doesn't take back, but this is not human. Like, queen c7 to provoke g3, and then the king is way too weak. Because if you keep that position like this, like, takes, takes, there is one check, but now I can actually start bring my king on the other side, I guess. Oh, no, there's queen c1. Yeah, but even... Yeah, the, okay, virtual. I think it's still a draw. Okay, anyway. Okay, it was a very cool game, but I just want to focus a little bit on the opening, because I messed up a little bit, I don't know what I did wrong. Yeah, f6 is a new system that I have never seen. Actually, I've seen that before, but not on not against this line. Uh, yeah, and I see that the top players play... I'm sorry, did they play... Yeah, everyone plays bishop d3, and allows knight b4, because of check, I guess. If you do something like this, it's bad. Or I guess I can just go back to c2. And the knight is misplaced, and the bishop is actually great. It's possible. I will have to study that in a little bit, and the next time in a future upload, I will be discussing this line. But this is very logical what I did. And now I think I should have played c4. I played knight d4 um, because I wanted, you know, it's a blitz game, so I started th creating some threats. Knight e5, and castles, which is logical, is wrong. Bishop e2. Okay, but this is this is unhuman. Okay, this is just equal. F4 is of course wrong, and I knew that it's wrong. Because I understood that this, this, and probably e5 and at some point. And then this, 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 should be okay, but my king is weak. Okay, so let's go back. Uh, probably I miscalculated something, but it doesn't matter. And here it's equal, but okay, black has the initiatives as the engine, but okay, it's not clear. I think here he should have played e5. Yeah, e5, and I wanted knight b3. At okay, castles, and I think he's just better here. Yeah, fe, knight x is no longer logical. But after fe, he has like this hanging pawn structure, and I can still go knight c5. So it's not that clear how black is better in that position. I think the engine waits 25 moves and, gen and then just pretends something, but probably... No, I don't really see how. Yeah, queen d6. Okay, knight b3. I also have knight e4 now. Ah, oh, no, I don't, because it's defended. Oh, I have some good messages here. Probably in a second. Anyway, okay, it's still interesting. I will have to analyze this on my own. Um, yeah, and here, knight h6 was wrong, and I could feel that, because I'm just opening up the center, and my threat was e5, and takes, takes, and I'm okay with this open position. Takes is never... I, th I suppose it's never really an option. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't, I don't even have to take. I can even play rook there first, so it's okay. Yeah, knight h6, e4, and here I opened up the position, and now I'm already better. Uh, yeah, knight f5, of course, is wrong, and here he had to go queen f7, I thought. I did mention it, but I think at this, and now, if I take like this, I think now he has knight g3 and queen h5 checkmate. Uh, so I thought that if he goes like this, I would just take, take this. And it was the idea that I wanted to mention, but... You know, he played something else. Anyway, now I'm just better, and now it's just an easy conversion. Okay, easy peasy, but I still blunder because of because it's a blitz game, so it's normal. And here, of course, it's winning. Thank you very much for this game, um, and hopefully see you in the future. Take care.